Hi everyone, PezHD here, and welcome to the first gold FIFA 13, uh, like, proper squad builder. Uh, so today, guys, I'm on foothead, um, because I haven't actually got the game yet. I know, it's surprising. A YouTuber who hasn't even got FIFA 13 yet, even though it's been out more than a week. Uh, yeah, I just have not had a chance to get by the game, go out and get it. So, I wanted to get you a squad builder done. So why not go for probably the best league in the world, with the best players in the world, and uh, get this out for you. Now, um, first of all, I do want to know, do you want me to see, do you want to see extra squads on the foothead, like with players that I can't afford? So, let's say I'm doing a hybrid team, and I can only afford Granero, but I want to put David Silva in it. Would you prefer that I did it on foothead, just to involve those extra high rated players and take you through their stats? and the team, because personally I, I can't afford like insane teams at the moment, probably like maybe after Christmas I'll be able to get some pretty decent squads going, but at the moment I think Footheads, the graphics on it are very good, you get the stats on the front of the card, and uh, it, it's just as good as looking at the team on the web app t for me, but I really want to know what you think guys, because, uh, but anyways, let me know about that, but um, yeah, this is a League of PPVA team, and we're going to take you through it now. So, in goal, we have got Casillas. Um, pretty beasty player, as you can see. Uh, plays for Liga BBVA in the, uh, for Real Madrid in Spain. Um, he has attacking work rate of medium and defense work rate. But, 91 diving, 92 reflexes, and 83 handling. 69 kicking, has 69. 68, 6 speed, and 85 positioning. I won't do this again for some reason, you've got talk talk over here, so I'm just going to go back to the team and not actually go on this again. Um, that was a complete accident, I didn't realise that happened. But anyway, um, Puyol, as you can see, apparently he's a very overpowered centre back, you don't need the pace in the defence as much anymore, but I have just gone for the most solid team you can get really. So we've got 55 pace, which is a bit of a letdown, 56 dribbling, 48 shooting, 87 defence, 66 passing and 84 heading. Very good stats for an 86. Um, over here we've got PK, slightly faster with 62 pace, but his 76 passing, 86 defending, 81 heading do make up for the lack in pace. But my favourite centre back of the three, we've got Sergio Ramos, 79 pace, only 61 shooting. I don't know if any of you saw that free kick he had, which was a rocket in the Euros, but I think that deserves just to put the shot power up to like 99 or something. But he has got 72 driven, 75 bars in, nearly as good as PK, 88 heading, which is insane, and 84 defending, so he's a very good player. At uh, left mid, we've got the one and only Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, he has 92 pace, not too bad. 92 dribbling, I guess it's quite good. 90 shooting, getting better. 87 heading, I, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure, I think he's, I don't really see, he's, I reckon he might be pretty bad. With this 80, all these 80 stats and above, I think he might be quite a bad player. Um, at right mid, we've got Navas. He looks like a tank with the 92 pace, 86 dribbling, 80 passing, no 56 heading and 73 shooting. But it doesn't really matter. Um, this isn't really a team of tall people. So, we in midfield, we've got Xavi with his 93 passing and 87 dribbling. Uh, not too great shooting, so he's not that good by the looks of it, but I'm sure he's a solid midfielder. Our other midfielder, we've got Metatozil, much better player by the looks of it, with 77 base, that's 11 more. 88 dribbling, one more than Xavi. 43 defence, that's a lot worse than Xavi, but, you know, 68 defence isn't good either. 75 shooting, so two more. 85 passing, eight less, I, I don't think you're going to notice much of a difference. Ozil is basically a better and cheaper version of Xavi, in my opinion. At right wing, we've got Di Maria from Real Madrid. Uh, he has some crazy in-game stats, I've heard. And I believe he has got four-star skill moves. So, he's got 87 dribbling and 90 pace and 82 passing. So, a really solid player. At left wing, we've got Iniesta. Now, I'm really disappointed they've changed Iniesta into a left winger. Because him and Xavi in midfield are just insane. Uh, also, when he's left wing, he's only got 75 pace, which is a massive letdown. But he does have 91 dribbling and 92 passing, so it's all good. Now, the highest rated player in the team, probably the highest rated player you'll see in any of my squad builders ever, 
is the 94 Lionel Messi with his 96 dribbling, 93 pace, 88 shooting, 84 passing and they've even upgraded his heading to 72 now. Wow, just uh, just a pretty pretty good player. I still think a Bong Lahore is going to be better though. But anyway guys, this has been the first FIFA 13 squad builder other than that zero chemistry team, but that was kind of a joke team. This is a proper team, so I really do hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to keep seeing the squad builders on Foothead. I've got two other one lines up. I've got a Premier League team and a Bundesliga team anyway that I will be doing. But anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.